Um, Jeff Jarrett. You know Jeff Jarrett, right, Sorg? I might have heard of him. You may have heard of the guy. Uh, I know he's shopping around. Uh, he's starting his uh, global. Uh, it's, it's not Federation. global wrestling federation. It's global and then something within global force wrestling. Um, I believe it is. Uh, so he's getting a lot of uh, indie bookings nowadays, uh, scouting talent and, and and looking at some companies. And he recently wrestled for IWA Mid South. Uh, I believe Evan, you were on that event uh, on Sunday, uh, and apparently. Uh, there was some backstage antics that uh, uh, have obviously Ian Rotten, who's the promoter there for IWA Mid South. Uh, uh, so apparently, the reports are what's going around is that there was some issue with pay, uh, uh, that uh, he was Jared was fronted a certain amount of money, and then uh, he was promised to get the rest of it in three days. Uh, and apparently, Jared kind of caused the scene. Uh, also, uh, uh, Jared's wife, Karen Jarrett, uh, um, was reported to have uh, been uh, a bit intoxicated as well. Uh, obviously, uh, not, not all the, only the people backstage would know exactly what happened or, or what went down, obviously. Um, Where would you find one of those people? Hey! Oh, hey! The guy. guy. Uh, so, Evan, you were at that show. I absolutely was at that show. Um, a big controversy, Drake's last match, actually. Yeah. Uh, Drake awesome. Younger, uh, recent signing for WWE. Yes. Uh, so, obviously, I could tell a bunch of stories of what happened that night, but we'll go right to uh, Global Force Wrestling. Uh, have you seen their hashtag? Hashtag join the Schwartz. It's nice. <laughs> I've not seen that. Right? I'll look at that. <laughs> uh, so, I never personally saw Jeff Jarrett take a drink, nor Karen. However, I will say that there – it's a good way of saying this. I mean, it's not like he's going to fucking hire me or anything. I, I doubt he'll even – sorry, guys. I doubt he'll even listen to this. Um, <laughs> hey, he's got 500 guys apparently on that roster, so – from reports. Yeah, going to be fucking great, I'm sure. What is uh, this, WCW? <laughs> uh, his manner changed as the night progressed. Um, so, like I said, I never saw him pick up a bottle. Um, so I never saw him drink, uh, but his manners did change during the night. In the beginning, he was all fun. Uh, I joked with him and Karen briefly. Um, I told, uh, Karen and I joked about, uh, blood getting in gear and how terrible it is to get out. And then, uh, after Jeff had wrestled, uh, we were coming, I was coming around the corner. He was kind of going and we were going in the same door. I, uh, I kind of slapped him on the back and said, Hey kid, not bad out there. You might make it in this business, but not here. Oh, how fortuitous those words would become. <laughs> um, I heard Jeff screaming and raving and ranting, and I was in the room, and he started um, yelling at Reed Bentley about the money issue. Um, I believe he was paid half up front. It was kind of what I, what I got out of it, and he was due the rest of the day up. Um, and as a wrestler uh, who, who sometimes has not gotten paid, I know just how mad you can be. And I can only imagine what Jeff would think. I think the internet has it at like twelve to $1,500. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, he made 750 up front, allegedly, um, and then the rest. And I don't see why people would doubt that because – if you're Jeff Jarrett and you're like, well, here's my fee. I want half of it up front and you don't get half of it up front. Then you don't go to the show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not like, yeah. Oh no, they didn't pay me up front, but they'll definitely pay me the full amount after I fucking wrestled. So I a hundred percent believe Ian that he was paid up front half of it. Um, Ian then says that he forgot to take money out of the PayPal. I a hundred percent believe that not because I work for him, but because I have done that. I have forgotten to mm. take PayPal out of an account, my account for not wrestling, but for like other shit I needed. So I like, you know, I go to the store and I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, where the fuck is my money? Oh yeah. I didn't get it out of PayPal. Um, a couple of promoters that I've worked for have done that. It, it, it is something that happens. It's something that's yeah. Easy. Yeah. I, I've seen that on my end too. So yeah, it's just like something small that you don't think about it, but it's a huge effect. Um, so I 100% believe Ian in this. Now, 
uh, I saw him and John Calvin get into an altercation, uh, just yelling at it. Jeff just got into his face and just yelled at him, spouting uh, conspiracies like how this is everybody's fault. Uh, you know, you spew urine on it. This guy's in on it. That guy's in on it. And uh, I saw that again. I, I never saw him pick up a bottle, but his manner definitely changed as the night progressed. He became uh, increasingly aggressive. Also, I never saw him lay his hands on John Calvin. Um, once the screaming and shouting happened, uh, I tried to get out of the room as quickly as possible. That's not my business. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't really stick my nose in things that aren't my business. And uh, Reed was handling it. It was it is Reed's business. So I was okay. Well, I've seen enough of Jeff making him seen, let's say, of himself that uh, I'm going to go find Gary, Kyle, and Pete, and the prodigy uh, who I rode with, and we're going to watch Drake and BJ because Drake Younger is a great guy and probably one of the best guys in any wrestling and deserves everything he's got positively. Um, so we watched that, but you could hear Jeff in the back. That's how loud he was. As the match was going on, you could hear him screaming. And then uh, eventually Ian, who was also watching because he pretty much brought Drake up in wrestling. Uh, it, it's a fair thing, I think I could say, but uh, maybe maybe other people would disagree. Uh, eventually went backstage to try and figure out what the problem was. And then he found out. Then he came forward. And that's, I guess, when he realized that they'd forgotten to take the PayPal out and uh, told Jeff he'd pay him. And Jeff was not thrilled with it because you could continually hear him screaming. Uh, hopefully Smart Mark can cut that out in the DVD because... The match itself is really damn good. Um, and then the match ended. Drake's giving his goodbye speech. Uh, Karen Angle storms the ring and um, cuts a promo letting everybody know, again, not their business, uh, letting everyone know that Ian hadn't paid them that night uh, what he owed, I guess, because he obviously paid them half up front. So... Mm -hmm. It was a damn shame. Uh, Drake didn't deserve it. She also unnecessarily, like, she took a shot at Drake, which I didn't appreciate. I didn't appreciate the whole scenario, obviously. But there was an unnecessary shot at Drake, and I hope they cut it out. And I'm sure they will. It's uh, she, she tells people how much of a piece of shit Ian is, which he isn't. Um, again, earlier in the podcast, I said I've always, Ian's always been straight with me and the squad, and he has. And he's always paid us what he always told us he would pay us. Mm. Um, and she just said, uh, okay, now I'm done saying what I have to say. Now I'm done burying him. Go back and try and put him over. And she handed the mic back to Drake. And that was just really unnecessary uh, of a shot to take. Like, if you want people to know your business, it's fine. It's none of their business to begin with, but sure, it's whatever. Uh, yeah. But don't bring other people into this that, are, that weren't involved. Drake Younger isn't in the conspiracy to make sure that Jeff Jarrett didn't get paid that night. Uh, I know he yelled at Christian Rose, too. Christian Rose isn't a member of the conspiracy. John Calvin isn't a member of the conspiracy. Uh, it's not a conspiracy. Um, again, I never saw him pick up a drink or anything else. And uh, But their, their, their moods definitely changed. Their manner changed over the night, and it was really unfortunate. Um, yeah. I mean, again, never saw him pick up a drink. But... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I honestly believe Ian will pay them in the two to three days if he hasn't already. That's he says he will because you know, kind of like the squad where we got uh, a bad reputation at Jakara, Ian got a bit of a bad reputation, and I mean, you know, yeah. not for not. You know, we had decidedly a bad match on the night of Jakara. Ian made some questionable choices in his life, and he's trying to make amends for him, and he's. He's always done right by me and a lot of the guys I know. And so and it seems, it seems to me at least that IWA is definitely coming back a bit strong. And I've, and so far yeah. from the stuff I've heard, I've heard nothing but good things from the regime, I guess you could say currently for IWA mid South. Uh, I would back it up. Uh, I actually did um, commentary from show end to show beginning, not thunder after thunder, but the show before that. Uh, so you can hear all my witty man, uh, remarks and quirky comments there. I, I recommend picking it up. It actually was a really good show, too, honestly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that's kind of what happened. I didn't get too terribly involved. 
I saw the beginning where he was just yelling at Reed about the money, and then that that translated to John Calvin. Again, I never saw him hit John Calvin or snatch the glasses off his face. Mm. Uh, I did see John Calvin without glasses for a while, uh, but had no idea that Jeff had taken them. And at the end of the night, he had them again. Um, I know he made John Calvin's girlfriend uh, cry, and that's not cool. I mean, you never want to be such a big dick you make people cry. Unless right. you're Chuck Taylor and they're small children, then, I mean, that's acceptable. But then again, you can make money off that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, making small children cry is a great money-making uh, pyramid. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's that's kind of what I saw. That's my take on it. And uh, as of right now, uh, you know, I'll defend IWA should the need arise. Should I need to throw on a cape and a mask and go to Tennessee or wherever Jeff Jarrett is and – I don't know. Just yell at him back. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm a grown ass man. Uh, I, you could make him cry. I could. You I could, could try. I could absolutely try. But I think his promotion is gonna make him do that himself. Oh. Hey. Uh, oh. Wow. But yeah.